They say it takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to destroy it, but that isn't the case here. Streamlabs, who we're gonna be talking about today, which is a streaming platform, they have a wide variety of products. It came out today that they have been trying to destroy their reputation for years, trying to start this fire, testing their luck, to see how far they could take it, stealing, cheating, and lying their way to the top. But only just now has it caught up with them. And yes, seemingly in only a few minutes, most of the streaming and YouTube community have suddenly found out what a complete pile of flaming trash this company is. I myself have used Streamlabs products in the past, both their alerts and their broadcasting software. But after today, I will never be using it again. Now, this situation has been evolving. New companies are coming out of the woodwork to throw more fuel on the fire. So we're going to cover all of that for you right now because this is a hot mess. Ex-CEOs are getting involved. The FTC violations are now suddenly being brought to light. CSGO Lotto somehow rolls into it, of course. Uh, so we're going to break that down for you all right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the $10 million studio. I'm your host, CoffeeZilla, the internet detective. Now, all of this started, this whole drama with Streamlabs, you may have heard a little bit about it, but um, I'm gonna break it all down for you. Streamlabs is a broadcasting software. They're a company that produces things for streamers, and a lot of people use them for their Twitch alerts, as well as a fork of OBS, which is a common software that people like myself use every day to record videos or to stream live. And Streamlabs has produced a version they call Streamlab OBS or Slobs. And due to the similar names, many people have thought that these are similar companies or there's a partnership between them in order to use uh, the same name OBS. I myself thought that, but this is absolutely not the case. It came out today that Streamlabs has been copying and stealing people's work for years now, and companies are hopping on left and right like it's a damn Avengers movie to dunk on Streamlabs and put the final nail in the coffin. Now, it all started with Lightstream. Lightstream is one of many live streaming tools, and they posted, hey, can I copy your homework? They're talking about Streamlabs' new product, Streamlabs Studio. They say, yeah, just change it up a bit so it's not obvious you copied clown bet. And what they post, I don't know if you can see this, is two things. One, it's their light stream like software copy. And then right next to it is the Streamlabs version. And as you can see, uh, they're exactly the same down to the wording itself. Like right here, level up your Xbox and PlayStation streams. Level up your console streams. How does it work? How does it work? And it even goes down to the very layout of these two pages. They're nearly identical. And so obviously this made quite the buzz. Nobody likes when somebody is copying other people's products. But that's when OBS, which is probably the world's most popular broadcasting software, uh, lit the match and set fire to slobs. OBS in a post said, near the launch of slobs, Streamlabs reached out about us using the OBS name. We kindly asked them not to. They did so anyway and followed it up by filing a trademark. We tried to sort this out in private and they have been uncooperative at every turn. Now again, this is a, uh, OBS is open source. And so, I mean, like, yeah, you can fork the project, but you can't literally call yourself the same name as the thing you're taking from. You just put your name in front of it. It's not suddenly yours. And OBS goes on to say that they've faced confused users who don't understand that there's even a difference. And I can attest to this because having used both software, I didn't know that they weren't affiliated. I assume one was just one that like incorporated Streamlabs into it and it totally had the seal of approval of OBS. Now, something that many of you may not know is that Streamlabs then fired back and said, um, that is not true OBS project and you know it. We asked and Jim said, yes, proof attached. This was the former owner of Streamlabs and you better believe we're gonna get to him because um, the history here is wild. But you can see here, they list an email where they're talking about a Streamlabs GitHub repo. And they're talking about the naming of a GitHub repo. 
They say, we are setting up the GitHub to make the code available for everyone. We're wondering the right name to choose. And we're thinking about this one, Streamlabs OBS. And above it, the OBS team says, sure, that sounds fine, Eddie. I don't particularly mind. Now, I don't know why a GitHub repo's name is equivalent to naming your entire project after the team OBS, like naming your whole project Streamlabs OBS instead of just a GitHub file. But apparently these guys think so. And not only do they think so, they think it's okay to then file a trademark for Streamlabs OBS. And why is this a big deal? Well, basically we came to figure out that not only was Streamlabs OBS lazily copying people, but they were also trying to poach traffic using the fact that the two names are very similar, OBS and Streamlabs OBS, and people might mistake them for being affiliated. For example, when you type in OBS to Google, I think they just removed this ad um, just today because of the backlash, but Streamlabs was running ads on the keyword OBS, so their thing would pop up even though the real open broadcast software is down here. Again, these are not affiliated. I can't believe that I still have to point that out, but I feel like people are still going to be confused, right? Because if I all of a sudden take the McDonald's franchise name and I call it uh, Coffee's McDonald's, and maybe I copy their interior layout and make a couple changes, right? You're gonna assume that those two things are affiliated. And especially if I run ads on McDonald's and show you my McDonald's thing and I do all the same things. I don't know, I, I'd say it's fair to say that I'm trying to use the McDonald's name in order to profit off it. Now, obviously it's a little bit different because OBS is an open source project, but nevertheless, I don't think anyone likes the fact that Streamlabs OBS is trying to basically poach their notoriety and then monetize it. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's a big part of the story. Streamlabs has been endlessly trying to get money from their users while the actual OBS has been free to use forever. This is just another wrinkle in this whole story. Streamlabs apparently was even signing people up to subscribe to their like premium service or whatever without even letting them know and then making it extremely hard to cancel. So yeah, these people have been doing horrible things forever, but that's only the start of what's been going on here. And I hope you understand why I'm like so crazy mad about this whole thing is that I literally supported this company. I downloaded their product literally due to their lies, right? Or their, you know, implied lie about being Streamlabs OBS. I literally thought they were affiliated and many people like myself thought this too. Now the stories kept coming out after OBS and Lightstream told their story. It was pretty much uh, all the companies getting together like a superhero movie. Here we have Warp World saying that they reached out to us when our startup was barely born about our cryptocurrency donation service, 1UpCoin, with a let's collaborate to bring this to more people tone. Only then to take everything discussed and doing it themselves as pioneers. So we feel this. And then Elgato jumped in the fray as well. Uh, saying that they also got copied by Streamlabs. They create the famous Stream Deck and Streamlabs copied it with control your live stream from your phone with the Streamlabs Stream Deck. So uh, Streamlabs, pretty much their MO is they take other people's products and innovation and they attach Streamlabs in front of it and then they make money off of it. That's, that's the whole thing. Oh, and here's another example. And I know it just seems like everyone's just dunking on Streamlabs. But this is what happens when you try to steal people's work for years and get away with it. Streamlabs also reached out to this guy. He has a company called Join Combo, which allowed you to like create Twitch clips on the fly and turn them into um, uh, TikTok videos. He says they were also copied, that they basically asked a lot of prodding questions about Join Combo only to launch a copy of their product a few months later. Not only that, then Streamlabs employees started coming forward and saying that people in the company started talking about how bad um, these situations were internally. And what did Streamlabs do? They fired them. They fired the people talking about how aggressive and manipulative these practices were. This is from one of their employees. Apparently so many people in marketing were reprimanded, put on PIP plans and fired for speaking up against unethical business practices to the point where they basically got rid of the entire marketing team by late 2018. By the way, the irony of having to fire the marketing team who are usually the most aggressive in pushing towards, you know, like crazy claims and stuff like that, that when your marketing team's basically saying, hey, 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 we got to 
be kind of honest. Um, that's when you know, <laughs> that's when you know you've gone too far. But this could have something to do with the fact that when Streamlabs was acquired by Logitech, they were given compensation based on meeting certain revenue goals. So we know they were pushed to go ahead and cr go out and, you know, generate X number of dollars so that, you know, the CEOs and whoever owned it would get compensated. This was actually pointed out to me by a user named Shannon on Twitter. And here's the source. An additional payout of $29 million may be made if Streamlabs meets certain established revenue growth targets. This is right after they were acquired. So pretty much um, from the get-go, all the wrong incentives were there. People were getting fired for speaking up. And pretty much this company has had a practice of stealing other people's work and trying to monetize it and profit from it. Not only that, poaching other people's traffic. But honestly, it goes back even further than the Logitech acquisition. See, and this is where the rabbit hole really starts. It actually goes back to 2016 with the FTC. See, before Streamlabs was ever known as Streamlabs, they were known as something called Vulcan, okay? And apparently their owners were doing some really shady stuff. According to this FTC complaint and eventually settlement, what Vulcan had done was basically uh, they bought out a mobile game company, replaced it with their own like Chrome extension, and were bypassing Android security features to install a bunch of products people didn't want onto their phone. And they eventually settled the charge um, with the FTC basically admitting guilt. These are their founders. That's what they were doing. The game was called Running Fred. And according to the complaint, quote, they used it to install a different app, commandeer people's computers, and bombard them with ads. So actually, if you're hearing about this news, it turns out it's completely consistent with these people's MO. Signing people up for subscriptions they don't want, stealing other people's work, and then trying to backpack on top of that in order to make money and steal traffic. This is literally what they've been doing from the very beginning. It's just coming out now that it's the same company and they've been doing it to everybody. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm not usually the type to take a big grandstand about something like this. And frankly, it's not that big of a grandstand because, you know, Streamlabs OBS is a terrible piece of software. Anyways, it's way behind where actual OBS is. And there's a ton of alternatives also to their alerts system like Stream Elements. But I would make a stand about something like this either way, even if Streamlabs was the best game in town. Because honestly, you can't put up with something like this. This company, it's not like it was a bad employee. In fact, it seems like it was the opposite. They fired all their good employees and left all the bad ones who didn't question their unethical business practices. I cannot support or have my company even tangentially affiliated with this. So I personally am removing myself from their ecosystem. I think I still have their software still um, installed on my computer. I'll be uninstalling it. And I encourage everyone to do, do the same because this is not the case of, you know, a joke t told 12 years ago that has nothing to do with the company. This is the company's core product. This is the company's core values. This is the company's core business practices for literally years. I mean, all of their products, a lot of them you can trace directly back to somebody else's work and them just stealing it. Now, real quick, I want to jump in here and also add, I forgot it in the first recording of this, uh, the CSGO part that I mentioned earlier. See, Vulcan, um, back when it was their name still, this is once again back in 2016, reports came out that they actually bought or co-owned the CSGO jackpot thing and they lied to people about it. They said, um, no, we didn't. But their allegations that in fact they had a strategic partnership running some of these CSGO websites. Uh, now I want to just say for fairness that it is true that the co-founders who started Vulcan and eventually Twitch Alerts, which eventually became Streamlabs, are technically gone from the company, but you've seen the same practices going on where there's always, they're getting into the shadiest stuff, denying it until they can no longer deny it. I also want to add that Streamlabs did issue a formal statement saying the following, we are taking immediate action to remove OBS from our name. 
Streamlabs OBS is built upon the uh, top of the OBS open source platform. Streamlabs OBS is also open source and our code is publicly available. We take responsibility for our actions and support the community. So there you go. Um, not really an apology. They don't, they don't say sorry, but also not really enough either. At least for me personally, this goes much beyond just the use of Streamlabs as a name. And also you could have taken responsibility for this when OBS originally asked you three years ago not to use their name and confuse people. It seems like literally this statement is only because they got caught, which of course it is. It's always about that, right? And I think as Epos Vox mentioned, he's a he's a great YouTuber. You should go check him out. He always talks about OBS streaming, stuff like that. Uh, he mentioned that, look, I mean, how do you really take accountability for a lifelong practice of stealing work, right? What are you going to give it all back? Are you going to undo all the Logitech deal, right? So um, it doesn't really make sense. And for me, it's really unsatisfying. So yeah, just wanted to add that quick context back to the video. So um, to say I'm disgusted uh, would be an understatement, but it's pretty amazing to watch this thing go down. And again, I know internally they're probably going to blame it on, oh, this is cancel culture, man. This is this is just, you know, people wanting to witch hunt. I think I saw their CEO or former CEO talking about this. No, this isn't a witch hunt. This is people finally becoming aware of who you've always been. This isn't losing your reputation in five minutes. It's people finally figuring out what sh you've been doing all along. I mean, literally since your inception. So that's basically it. What a wild ride this has been, I'm sure given how much has come out in the last 24 hours, we'll be seeing more come out. Um, and I'll keep you guys in the loop about that. If you want to subscribe, pump the stock. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Damn, okay. Getting by and I ain't got no bands, okay. Try your best that you won't understand, okay. You can't relate. This part of the story, don't you pan away. I, I don't got a penny in my debit card. I swear if I want it, then I'ma get it. It's like, but things will be different if I was balling.